Hey, so about a month or so ago, I came out with a fake camera motion preset. And in that video, I mentioned how it was a prototype. When well, this is fake camera motion 2.0, I won't say it is the, the definitive final version, but it's a hell of a lot better than the first one. So if you got that first one, you can delete it, download this one, links in the description. If you download the original preset and you're watching this video, make sure you check your email. There should be a link for the 2.0 in your inbox. So we back with fake camera motion 2.0. This is not a definitive edition. I think it's still some work can be done with it, but we're gonna go through it right now. First up, you got the handheld camera motion. This is brand new. You drop it on your clip. It's a little, uh, it's a little resource here because you got so much shaking and stuff going on. So you want to right click, go to render uh, cache for fusion. Click on the name of the effect and you should get the little red line to come up and wait till it turn blue. Once it's rendered out, you'll notice the footage has a little bit of a kind of a handshake quality to it. In the expect tab on the effects, you can actually go through here and change the master amount, the frequency. You can scale the footage up and down if you want to. Also got motion blur is high, uh, low, medium, high. You can adjust it accordingly if you want to. Let's say for instance, you cut this down, reset that, cut the frequency up a little bit. You don't have to let it re-render. Now the rendering time does vary from computer to computer. Mine's a little older, so bear with me. So you cut the amount up, you get the handheld motion of someone with Parkinson's. That's not funny, but yeah, you get what I mean. Now for the rest of them, you got right to left, you got rotation, up and down, zoom in. Now these are actually, you just go into and actually hit invert. So if you don't want to go right to left and go, you want to go left to right, it'll invert it and give you that same effect. Same for zoom. Instead of zoom in, hit invert, it'll zoom out. So for the zoom, we're going to take it and drop it on the clip. And as you can say play through, it just slowly zooms in. Go into inspector tab on the effects. You can actually get a host of controls right here. This is how you can control the effect. So right now it's got back in the first frame. Say for instance, you get about right here. And that's where you want the effect to end. You actually use the time scale control. You can go about right here. That should give you a little bit more of a zoom. And your effect will effectively stop right there. So you go back to the first frame. Play it back and it'll stop there. You can also increase that. Say, for instance, go to about five, but no, not 50. Five. It'll zoom in a little quicker. Now, if you do go to 50, it'll just zoom in that much quicker. And just get a real quick zoom in there with the, with the zoom in so quick, you'll need some motion blurs. You go here and check that box and just give you the blur now the time offset difference you dropped about right right there what this is going to do is going to basically delay the effect but it still happens but it's just not having it doesn't happen at the first frame now your offset you can use it to affect your starting point so instead of starting you know at the beginning of the clip where it's zoomed all the way out it just zoom in that much further And the scale is basically the size of the clip itself. So you leave it one or you can do 0 0.1. And it make it zoom in a little slower. So the scale will effectively scale the effect. So anything, it won't change anything above one. One be, is the highest it goes. So you can change it to like 2.0 or 0 0.2, I mean. And then zoom in that much slower. Now here you have easing. You can actually set it to linear. It's more of a robotic zoom in. And you got custom. Custom allows you to actually input your own curve. So if you have like an easy in curve, you click the two end points to get the handles, drag it over, and get a slow and easy in curve. Like the easy in curve happens so quick, you really can't see it. I just want to crank this back up to one. And there you go. You can change this to any curve if you want, if you know about curves or know how to, you know, the different curves you want. Now, if you don't want to play with curves, you want to leave it on easing. You have an ease in and ease out right here. 
you can actually change these are actually preset curves and you just change them to anything you want just play around with them see how they look uh they don't have to match so you have to ease in ease out and it changes your different look like say you hit invert it starts zoomed in and then zoom out now, the same thing you want to use for effects if you want you hit the mirror button and that's gonna zoom in it's gonna zoom out zoom in zoom back out oh no it's just zoomed out oh there, there you go it does it slowly so you can mess around with those you can set it back to none cut motion blur back off also got your edge control here so if instance is if it's zoomed out way you no know, a lot farther than what it should be instead of having the black you have wrap duplicate and mirror and so the mirror you can use depending on your clip so same thing you do well you get about right here get about right there and you want to zoom in from there you can also too if you hit the drop down go to fusion overlay you're going to affect the X and Y axis from these little drop downs here. Or you can just keyframe, just kind of like on the, uh, like in your default inspection tab when you want to affect the zoom, of the X and Y axis, you can do the same here. That way, instead of it just zooming in on the center of the frame, you can play some keyframes if you want to have it zoom in on the subject. So, so if you go to move this little dial here, move it about right there in the keyframe back here you can just hit 0 0.5 on the keyboard and make it default so as it zoom in it'll zoom in on your subject next is the rotation rotation is set by default on the inspector tab at 360 degrees you can change it to 190 and get a 190 spin and it'll just spin over the duration of the clip. And so you can speed up the time. I find five is a pretty good marker and it'll speed it up. And say for instance, right here, you wanted to end, or you wanted to end it. You go ahead and change the offset to line it up. That way, instead of it being tilted, it'll give you a full rotation. And the same is for pretty much, the same can be done for all the effects like they hit invert and it'll invert and flip the other way again you had to adjust the offset so right now it's tilted and you straighten it up with that and that's why it end the effect the link will be in the description or in the pinned comment that's it for this video check out this video here for some cool music video effects and i'll see you in the next video